People are talking about why you're out of reach. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. I choose you. This is a lot of people, okay? A lot of people want to talk to you. And it's not what you expect. Release your fear. Like, there. okay, you being out of reach, there might be some fear behind it. I Let's speak that out of your life. I, I pray that it's not. But um, the fear I'm getting is that what pe the, the things people are trying to reach out to you about aren't what you expect, but that doesn't mean you need to be in their reach. I say stay out of reach. Stay out of reach. <laughs> Good job. Good job, you. Because, you know, you need to have boundaries. These are people who aren't used to you having boundaries. That's what it is. And you know what? That could be the fear. You know, oh, oh, okay. The fear. I, okay. The boundaries. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting cards. I hide my true feelings. That's why you have to have boundaries. People won't let you have feelings. Interesting. Wow. Will I ever get closure? That's what people are coming to you for. People are feel very, like, neglected. Like, let me move on. Where are you? I want to find you. Like, they need closure to move on from something. Wow. Um, so maybe it's not everybody you're out of reach from. It could just be a certain few people, however it resonates. Um, at first I got, it was more like you're somebody who's just out of reach from a lot of people. But, you know, okay, a friend group, it could be one person, a romantic thing, but um, I'm getting like, did you like ditch a whole friend group? <laughs> hey, do what you got to do. I, You did it for your own well-being, for your own safety. Be patient with me. No one else has this effect on me. Or you plan on going back to the friend group or wondering if you should. Because maybe you just needed a break. It could be that you just needed a break. Um, because you miss the people. I'm getting that on both sides there's missing. There's like no one else has this effect. Patience. Like, you know, I'm not ready to give you the closure. I'm not ready to come back yet. Must something really big happen, huh? Release your fear about it happening again. Okay, that's what I'm getting now from that. Is that something major happened to cause a rift with you and this group or family? You know what? I just got country. Like, nation. Like, did you leave an entire nation? <laughs> like, some of you, I don't know who you are, but I'm getting that you just one day got on a plane or a train or a bus or a boat. <laughs> Maybe a big boat. And just left one day and didn't say anything. For your own safety. Maybe you don't even know why. Narcissist vibes. Oh my gosh. Is that what happened? Is that why you're out of reach? Mm. And you need to move on. Isn't that interesting? Let me move on and you need to move on. Open invitation. It's these people wanting you to come back. Like, why are you out of reach? You did what you had to do. You had to save yourself. You had to save yourself. I don't blame you. Look, we go through things. Um, you were in a toxic situation. Wow toxic do these do these people even realize how toxic and you know what it could just be one person that's however it resonates but i manifest that you'll get the healing you need that everybody will this too shall pass this keeps coming out and it happened i got that as soon as i said something about healing you're going to heal from this let's i pray that you will learn whatever you're supposed to lesson from this you're supposed to learn but that you will stay out of reach as long as possible. As long as it takes for you to heal. Um, what was this one? Yeah, I have my true feelings. Because they, that's, that's, um, that's what caused you to have to, this healing in the first place. You were in a toxic situation where you couldn't have feelings. Oh, wow. Yeah, love yourself first. And you are an original. This keeps coming out, collective. You guys need to know this. You're an original. But truthfully, that's what you did here. That's why this card came out. You got on that plane, whatever it was, got in a car, whatever it was, to love yourself first. And it doesn't have to be that. It could be a metaphor. Maybe you didn't go anywhere except for maybe mentally. And sometimes people feel that more than they do the physical distance. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes checking out mentally can hurt people around you a lot more than checking out physically. You know? That could be what you did. And you didn't mean to hurt them, but you were hurting. You're the one who was hurting. What else do you need to know? Lesson learned. Yep. As soon as I said. What else do you need to know? Run the race. Keep going. <sighs> Misery loves company. <laughs> um, yeah. These people don't worry about what they're saying. 
Okay, that goes back to the toxic situation. Misery loves comp company. You couldn't keep going through that. You had to save yourself. You had to save your own finan your financial. Well, you know what? If that slipped out of my mouth, you maybe this had to do with your financial stability. Maybe you got out of there because you had to for your own financial stability. Or, um, you know, if something affects you mentally, it can affect you financially. I can, I can attest to that. People think you can just do anything for money. You can't. You can't. What three cards do you need from this manifestation deck? As soon as I said that, wow, your intuition is strong. You have no fear and you have positive thoughts. Um, I want you to, I want you to remember this, okay? I want you to say that to yourself. My intuition is strong. I have no fear. I have positive thoughts. I know it sounds like a crazy thing to say because it's like, shouldn't you just have the positive thoughts instead of saying I have them? It's telling you so, telling yourself you have them tricks your brain into having them. It tr it's works on your particular activating system in your brain. That's how we truly manifest. Because our subconscious brain, you know, that's why fear gets societies, you know, all these things happening in society, like the Book of Revelation and all the interpretations and the false interpretations and, you know, the things that have been added to the Bible or removed from it. And why was the Gospel of Thomas taken away in the Book of Enoch and all that? Um, it's to get people to fear because they can manipulate the world around us with fear get us all to manifest things quickly with fear you have no fear i want you to have positive thoughts because i want a good positive life for you i want you to manifest good things and i want you to trust your intuition and remember that everything's a lesson you learn from this and when it's time for you to go back to them if you ever want to you'll know when but i do pray that you will i'm look i'm sending healing energy their way and your way i'm imagining that for all of you that this situation will heal even if you never talk again that there will be complete healing for everyone involved okay your intuition is strong you have positive thoughts and you have no fear it is spoken it is written and so it is amen